Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bean. I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be showing y'all the best man beaters in Madden right now. So in today's video, we're going to be in the Patriots playbook. And as some of y'all know already, man coverage is the meta defense for this Madden this year. And I know in Mutt, a lot of y'all will struggle because they will press and then shade over top. And they got 99 man coverage, 99 speed. And y'all struggle with beating some of these man coverages. And in today's video, I'll basically be showing y'all how to torch it, score one play touchdowns off of it. And yeah, so let's hop right into the video. All right, y'all. In today's video, we're going to be out the Patriots playbook. And the formation you want to call is going to be the doubles flex pats. And the play is going to be Patriots corner. And for the second play, that uh, for the man beater, is going to be this sluggo play right here out of gun wide off trips pats. Now, both of these plays get one play touchdown against man coverage. And y'all can see I'm going against the Dolphins. They have Xavier Howard and, and uh, Byron Jones. So there's no trash corners. So this works against better corners and stuff. And yeah, so let's hop into how you run these plays. Right, for this first play, this Patriots corner play, it's real simple. You just got to make one adjustment. But first, let me hop into, into the defensive setup. So right now, the meta defense right now is 325 wide, Michael Blitz. Now, what people are doing is they take their D-line, they shift them towards the halfback, slant outside, press, shade it over the top, and put their outside linebackers in curl flats, and it looks something like this. Now, for this play, all you want to do to set this up is you take your triangle and you put them on a slant, and that's it. And the reason I put them on a slant is because on the zig, your routes will get tangled and it won't be as smooth, and he won't get open, so they might get pressure or something like that. And yeah, so all you want to do is call height. Oh, and make sure your best receiver is at square. Make sure, so whether it's the one with abilities, the highest overall, you just want him there in that position so he can do that. Let me show you how it works one more time. Put him on slant. Let me set up the defense. Press, shift, slant outside. Shade over the top. Let me show y'all. It should look like this and if you say for instance, you're playing Mutt, you should have two Amazing receivers over there that post gets wide open on the right side, too It's just that the Saints don't have two good receivers, but I can try showing y'all how it works It doesn't really get that open because the receiver that's over there. So but Let me show y'all so press Boom. They will shift Outside linebackers and curl, shade over the top, show y'all the defense. And let me show y'all, y'all second read, if y'all were to have another uh, receiver that's good or whatever, who can run routes, this receiver is absolutely terrible. But yeah, let me show y'all. He's on motion, so say for instance, they take their user to go guard it. All you wanna do is, I like to low pass this, but like I said, he's slow, he has terrible route running. So if you have one receiver and you're playing regs, you mainly just want to look towards that. And if you're using the Saints specifically, uh, Alvin Kamara has running back apprentice, so you can put him on like a Texas or something. And yeah, let's hop into the next play. Now for this sluggo play, you don't have to make any adjustments for this play. But like I did before, I'm going to set up the defense again. So like I said before, meta D, press hit over the top. Shift D line towards halfback, slant outside outside linebackers inside of a uh, curl flat so it looks something like this now on this play if you're playing mutt you obviously you have a 99 well 97 with chemistry 99 half back or good enough half back to run this route but if you're playing like regs or something you more than likely want a half back with some decent route running at least or with some speed on them for this play to really work at its its full potential but like now I have Alvin Kamara, so it's gonna be one play touchdown. And so yeah, let me call a hike and show y'all basically how it works. Like I said, just run it stop. And Alvin Kamara is gonna be our read for this. Boom. Make sure you always lob that. You don't want to bullet it because they're gonna get a jump animation. But if you lob that every single time, it's a one play touchdown every single time. This play is not. It's, it's simpler than the uh, last play I just showed y'all, so it's going to be simple and easy. Let me show y'all one last time, and we can wrap up the video. So set up the defense. Red shade over the top. Slant outside. Outside linebackers. Inside curl flats. And then, boom, let's call a hike. 
make sure uh, just wait for him to uh, motion out and then uh, uh. and as you can clearly see there's a lot of separation on that route so if I was at on the 25 on the other side of the field I have some rack to get the one play touchdown and yeah so so that should cap off the video right there alright y'all this is the end of the video we are at I think we're at 160 subscribers we're almost at 200 uh, I think that we'll hit 200 by at least March 14th. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all hit that like button. If y'all want to get notified every single time I post or on that post notification bell, comment down below what y'all want to see in the next video. And it's your boy Bean, and I'm out.